Hello, beloved, and welcome to your reading. I am Yanifa Ifa Kemi, an Ifa High Priestess, child of a butler and Oromila. Welcome to your reading. We're going to be using our tarot cards and also our oracle cards to reveal the messages that the divine wants you to receive in this reading. I know there are going to be some golden nuggets of information that I hear. So please do listen to this reading all the way to the end. At the bottom of the deck of the cards, what you need to know at this present moment in time, you're receiving the energies of the six of coins. The divine is saying to you that this week it is going to be important to do some type of charity. It is going to be important to give, to be in that spirit of giving. Because the takeaway from this message is that by giving, you open up your hands to receiving. So the divine is saying you'll be used this week as an F angel to assist, to help other people in some type of way. So are you willing to step up and to be that F angel? I want you to comment in the comment section that emoji with the little angel halo sign to accept your mission. Because the divine really wants you to understand that by giving you show faith, you open up your hands you show the divine that you are part of the team. You are willing to be used as a divine vessel to assist, to help, to uplift and to inspire other people. And this allows your abundance to start coming and flowing into your life. It is very easy to always focus on what we are wanting to manifest, what we are wanting to receive. But the divine is saying that sometimes I need my earth angels to step up and to be used to help, to assist, and to uplift other people. And in doing so, the vibration of the world becomes higher. So again, comment that emoji in the comment section of that little face with, an, with a halo at the top. I'm gonna grab another set of tarot cards to elaborate more on the messages that are on the table. And as I'm getting the next set of tarot cards, I want to remind you of the candle magic ceremonies that are coming up next. We have our solar eclipse that is going to be happening on the 15th of October. So as usual, I always take the time to invite you to these candle magic ceremonies and what we are going to be focusing on on the 15th of October. For some of you, depending on where you live, it could be on the 14th of October. But what we're going to be focusing on, we are going to be focusing on cutting the cords. We are going to be focusing on wiping the slate clean. We are going to be focusing on returning to sender any negative energies. We're focusing on doing the spiritual cleanse so that you can remove any stagnant energies that might be blocking your progress, that might be blocking your way. For this solar eclipse in Libra, this new moon that is going to be happening, it is important for you, if you're wanting to take part, to go in the description box below, to go to my website, and if you go on my website, reserve your space on that ceremony. And please do remember to write your petition to send your petition in and then to step in that energy of faith that what it is that you're praying for is coming. What it is that you are releasing is being released so that you stop experiencing the same type of energies, the same type of challenges over and over again. Okay, so I look forward to working with you. And now let's dive deeper into this reading to see the messages that are here. Now we spoke of the energies of giving to receive and I really love the energies that are here. We have one complicated card of the Ten of Swords but in comparison to all the other energies that are on the table, this is a minor, a minor inconvenience almost. It is almost like a reminder where the Divine is saying, hey, we need your attention on this situation that is here, on this person that is here, this could be a relationship that is here. Remember, we spoke about blockages. Remember, we spoke about not growing and repeating karmic cycles. Well, the energies of the Ten of Swords is you repeating the same type of mistakes over and over again. It's being at the wrong place at the right time because there are still some lessons that you need to learn. The energies of the Ten of Swords, the Divine is saying you are now being asked to remove yourself from situations that bring nothing but betrayal that bring nothing but pain, that bring nothing but disappointment. The divine wants you to understand that there is just something in your life where you are watering dead plants, 
where you are giving your energy to something that is not going to be giving you anything in return. The Ten of Swords is saying, accept that a situation is dead and accept this so that you can finally move on, so that you can finally go in a new direction that you've been praying for, that you have been waiting for. So this is the complicated energy from the reading. Because like I said, all the other cards that are on the table are really, really positive. You're receiving the energies of the Nine of Cups, which is your wishes coming true. And not only are you receiving the Nine of Cups, you're receiving an energy of the Three of Cups, which is about celebration. And you're receiving the energies of the Page of Coins, which is about going in a new direction, on a new path, on a new journey, which leads to growth. So the Divine is saying, where are you repeating the same type of things? Is your life right now like Groundhog Day, where you're doing the same thing over and over and over again for the last couple of years? And there's a sense of feeling bored. There's a sense of feeling frustration. But like I always tell you that this is your human experience and you get to decide what it is that you want to cut out of your life, what it is that you want to release out of your life so that you can go on a new journey. And the new journey that is connected to the energies of the pages is going to see your health improving, your wealth, your money, your resources improving. And even though it might be a journey that could be slightly complicated at the beginning, it's okay because it is something new. The pages bring an element of newness. This is a new path that you haven't been on before. So we know that with something new, you have to go through that progress, that, that chapter of learning and growing. And through that, you're going to be led to this moment of victory, of celebration, which leads to you finally seeing your wishes coming true. So the divine is saying your wishes are coming true. You earth angel really bring these energies towards you by helping other people, assisting other people, doing charity because this lifts up your vibration so that you are a vibrational match to the journey that is unfolding for you. But you remember that we are part of a collective. We are part of a team. And through you giving and through you supporting other people, you're going to find that other people give, other people are support you, other people are uplift you. Just as you're listening to this reading, which is inspiring you, the divine is saying it is now your turn to go and inspire other people. So if you really are liking with the, the energies that are here, if the energy is really vibrating with you, if you are willing to be in alignment with this journey that is here, where your wishes are coming true, give this video a thumbs up. And if you've been subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. So as we're looking at the next set of cards, we have the same type of energy of victory. We have the same type of energy of success because you have the energy of the sun card. And not only do you have an energy of the sun card, which is a major kind of card, you also have the Wheel of Fortune, which again is indicating that the winds of change are blowing, okay? It is indicating that there is joy, there is bliss, there is a feel-good factor that you are going to be walking into. This is the energies of the sun, where you have the loyal friends, the loyal relationships, where you can be in your own authentic naked truth and feel valued and feel seen instead of feeling judged. So the divine is saying things are going to be changing for you as indicated by our two major arcana cards. So it is time for you to get ready. It is time for you to accept and it is time for you to get excited, to get in this energy of celebrating this unfoldment that is here. Because the Wheel of Fortune always tells you that you are not going to be going on this journey alone. No. Your guides, your ancestors, your guardian angels will be walking with you, guiding you, leading you. And when you feel lost and confused, ask them to take the steering wheel so that you can be in that energy of understanding and finally appreciating that you do not have to do everything all by yourself. So some of you might be going through that a spiritual awakening. Some of you might be finding your soul tribe, the people that vibe just perfectly with you where you are not censoring yourself to fit in, but where you feel understood, where you feel encouraged, where you feel heard, where you feel seen. And this leads to your vibration even rising even more. And this opens up this chapter, this energy, where your wishes are coming true, connected to the energies of the Nine of Cups. 
So again, like I said, it is important to let go of what's not working. It is important to look at your life and evaluate where you are watering dead plants, where you're wasting your energy on situations that are not going to be giving you anything in return. So let's move over to our Oracle cards. Our Oracle cards are re-emphasizing what we've already spoken about. The divine is telling you again, you are working with divine timing as indicated with the wheel of fortune. Okay. And as you're going on this journey, it is going to be important for you to trust your instincts. Okay. The divine is saying that as you are working with divine timing, as your wishes are coming true, like I already told you, it is important for you to understand that you are on a journey that takes time. Everything is just not going to fall on your lap. No, this is a journey that is unfolding over time. So as you are on this journey, you are growing. You are learning to trust. As you are on this journey, the divine is saying to you, it is going to be important to lean in and to trust your instincts because your instincts are going to be guiding you. Your guardian angels are going to be speaking to you. So even though sometimes on this journey, you might feel lost, you might feel confused, don't worry. Because again, you are not going to be alone, which I really, really like these energies that are here. So from our last card that is here, the divine is saying to you, as we've already spoken, it is important for you to take inspired action connected to this energy of the Ten of Swords so that you can finally cut those cords of what is keeping you stuck in that cycle of repeating the same type of mistakes, the same type of actions and hoping that you get a different result. If a relationship hasn't been working and you've been trying and you've been showing up for years, what makes you think that things are going to change? Sometimes we stay stuck in situations because we're afraid of the new beginnings, of the new chapters, of the unknown. But the divine is saying that there's nothing for you to be afraid of. Take inspired action. Cut out of your life the things that bring you nothing but pain and regret. Release these things. Let them go. And then as you do that, this is when you can start activating our major arcana cards of the Wheel of Fortune, allowing change to come in. And understanding that with change, you will go through some challenges as indicated by our mountains. But these challenges are not going to last forever. Because remember, you are working with divine timing. So this is all about growth. This is all about understanding that things take time. Like they say, Rome wasn't built in a day. So your, your wishes, your victory, the dream life that you want is going to take time. Sometimes it feels like everything is just happening magically. And sometimes it feels like everything is falling apart. But things do have to fall apart so that you can rebuild with new energies. You can rebuild with new people. So whatever it is not working, wherever things feel like they are naturally falling apart, maybe you're losing friends, you're losing relationships, people don't understand you, that's okay. Because you are upgrading, you are going places. So you cannot expect the people that have been in your life for a long time to understand you. In fact, they'll be the ones who'll be stopping you. They'll be the ones who'll be saying things like, you've changed. But that's what we're meant to do. We're not meant to be stuck in the same cycle over and over again until we're 60 years old and then we start wanting to make changes. We want to travel. We want to go on adventures. But why have you waited until you were too old, until... Your health wasn't doing so good. I'm not saying that just because you're 60, things are going to be falling apart for you. But no, what I'm saying is, why would you waste so much time in situations, in relationships? Why would you waste so much time only for the government to give you the go-ahead, say, yes, you can now retire. Yes, you can now go and enjoy your life. And 60 is, is being optimistic. Most retirement ages are going up now to 75 and some people, even at that point, they cannot retire because life is getting more expensive. The take away from that message is the divine saying to you, because you are working with divine timing, this is an opportunity for you to grow. This is an opportunity for you to make money in a different way. This is an opportunity for you to step up into your own authentic skin, into your own authentic path, 
And as you do that, this allows this ushering in of your wishes coming true, where your money, your health, your love life is all unfolding in a beautiful way. Don't wait until it is so much later in life. Start asking yourself now, what do I want? And then ask yourself, what inspired action can I take to allow these energies to come in, to allow my wishes to come in? I always show you that there are the swords of truth that are here. So as you're going forward, you have your sword of truth. You're standing in your own authentic truth about what your dream life looks like. And you are willing to take the action that you need to take. You're willing to take that sort of truth and cut out anything that doesn't create or anything that isn't aligned with the actions that you're meant to take to make your wishes come true. So again, the time is now because you are working with divine timing as indicated by the wheel of fortune. So beloved, if you found value in this reading, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And again, for the solar eclipse ceremony, on the 15th of October, everything that you need to know is linked in the description box below. I'm going to see you in my next reading. It is a goodbye from me.